Welcome now to Carl Lehman, who is President of the International Federation of Risk and Insurance Management Associations, IFREMA, and himself a firmer board member. Good afternoon, Carl. Good afternoon. Just very quickly, maybe a description of IFREMA and how it works alongside or firma. Well, actually, uh, IFREMA is the Global Risk Management Association. You have the four major regional associations, RIMS, uh, FAPARMO, ALARIS and FIRMA, who all come together in IFRIMA, which is a global uh, platform where all the uh, information that is gathered from those associations is exchanged on a voluntary basis. Uh, beside that, we have also a number of direct members, so we don't have really um, a constitution that, that limits it to one type of member. So we have both national associations and regional associations that are members of IFRIMA. Okay. And I understand you've had a board meeting since you've been here today. Was there anything you'd like to share that came out from the meeting? Yes, we had, an, uh, as always, an interesting board meeting, which is kind of uh, a double-faced thing. We have first some things we have to go through for statutory reasons, but then we have a lot of information that is exchanged between the uh, people um, present at the uh, board meeting. And today, I mean, one of the topics we have in length uh, talked about the certification because FERMA is working on it. A lot of uh, national associations are working on it, but also IFRIMA is working on it. And we're trying to take it a, a step further. So we are going for a global certification. Uh, FERMA is, is working on, an, on a regional one in Europe. And we're gonna also take FERMA and the rest of the associations to uh, create a uh, global certification. Um, no education, let's be clear on that, just a certification. Mm. Uh, so that was uh, talked about in length. And the other thing that came out was that we will start a project on the exchange of urgent information, being that what we see today is that in a number of cases when you have people in uh, a certain country or a certain location and there are political riots or um, uh, natural catastrophes or something of, of quite importance going on that you cannot always rely on, on the media like uh, CNN, BBC World. The views that you get from those people are not always in line with what's happening. We've seen that we've had feedback on Mexico, we've had feedback on Africa where people said well in the media they say there is nothing while the tension is really high and then mm -hmm. another day it's it's all in the media and then they say locally well we, we don't really feel anything so there is a, a distinction between what is really going on and what you sometimes see in the media mm -hmm. so what we try to create is something to get around there and to inform colleagues or uh, look we have a, a political problem in that region of the world or in that country and we are on the point of eventually evacuating our people uh, so that this information could also be ch shared. Of course, we will not do that by ourselves and, and we agreed upon that a number of uh, external service providers uh, will be contacted in order to see how we can cooperate with them, that they function as kind of a trigger. And also our new website that will come alive uh, quite soon will be uh, used for that purpose. Okay, well, that's great. Well, thank you for that short insight. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you.